Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I want to take some time to teach you guys how to snail a hook. Um, there's many different ways how to snail a hook. Um, I'm going to show you two different ways and we're going to go from there. So the first way, the easiest way that I have seen to snail, snail a hook is it's called a no knot snail knot. Um, I don't personally use it, but I'm going to show you guys how to tie it. So in order to tie this, you take your hook and you slide the line through the hook. And I always talk about that hooks are made so that it's a wire and it comes around and it comes back to the main shank. And I don't like to wrap it so it goes like this. I like to wrap it so that I don't have to worry about this opening up and it's slipping. So I wrap it the other direction. So you, you stick your line through the eye of the hook and then you want to wrap it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you just take and slide the line back through the eye. And that is a really easy knot to tie. Um, it's supposed to work really well. I have never used it. I don't like how that the line is exposed up here. And I feel that the teeth of the fish can break it, but I haven't heard any complaints. It's very easy. It's very easy if you're trying to do two hooks um, for like salmon fishing and they can't slide and you're trying to get them a specific distance apart. It makes it nice. A lot of salmon guys tie this knot. Um, like I said, I, it's not my favorite, but I wanted to show you guys that way to snail a hook. It's the easiest way that I know. But it's not much more difficult to snail a hook the way that I do. You guys, I'm going to show you how I snail all my hooks. I'm going to show you three different times. Um, once using the big giant hook with the rope. And I'm going to show you how I do it with 100 pound. And I'm going to show you how I do it with 20 pound. Um, so... The way that I snail my hooks is, is I stick the line through the eye. Like I say, you see which way the shaft of the hook is going around the pinch. And on this one, it's coming around this way. So I'm going to wrap it this direction. But I'm going to take, and I'm going to take the line and slide it the other end of my line. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to slide it up through the other side, just like so. And I take the line sticking out the front and I wrap it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you just take and pull the line sticking out and it gets nice and tight. And that's how I snail my hook. You see it's all inside. The teeth run with the way your, your line is wrapped. So it's less likely to cut through a piece of line that's running this direction. Um, that's the way that I like to snail my hooks. They work, it works really well for me. I'll show you how to tie it with a hundred pound green line and a seven knot hook. These are the hooks that I use for sturgeon fishing. I just take, I slide the line right through the eye of the hook, just like so, just so it's back a little ways past the shank of the hook. I bring my line around from the other side and I stick it through just like so. It doesn't have to stick out real far. It just needs to stick out a little bit. I take and I pinch these two lines down and I look at the hook and the, the shank of the hook wraps around from the back side towards the front. So I'm going to wrap that same direction. So I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I grab a hold. And with the bigger line, sometimes you might want to have a pair of pliers handy to grab a hold of it. And you pull it nice and tight, just like so. And there's your snailed hook. The other thing is with big like 100 pound 
80 pound, even 60 pound. Um, a lot of times I will not do the full 10 wraps. I'll only do six because that's a pretty big knot on that hook. But I'm very confident that that knot is going to hold and that I will have no issues. And um, I'm confident that you guys will have no issues with it. So there is it tied with 100 pound test and a seven aught hook. Now I got a five aught hook here. And I'm going to tie it with 20 pound test. And the 20 pound test is a whole lot easier to tie with. So same thing, you stick the line through the eye of the hook, just past the shank of the hook, like so. I grab a hold of it. I look at the hook it takes and the shank of the hook bends around from the back side towards the front. So I'm going to want to wrap that direction. So I take the other end of my line, I stick it through the eye, going the opposite direction so that it's sticking out a little bit, just like so. I pinch the two lines with my hand and then I take the other hand and I wrap from the back side to the front side 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I grab a hold of the line and I pull it nice and tight, just like so. And I'll pinch it just to hold it as I pull it good and snug here. And I take and I cut my little tag end off right there. And there's a 5 aught hook snailed with 20 pound test line right there. All right, guys, I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to show you a little bit differently with a 5 aught and 20 pound because it's pretty easy to do. And when I tie long leaders where I don't want to drag all the line through the eye of this, the hook, this is the way that I tie it. So you just take the end of your line and you slide it through the eye, just past the shank of the hook like so. And then you want to take the other end of the line and you take it and you stick it through and you go ahead and you pull it down so it just makes a small loop like so and you look at the eye and you see that it's wrapped around from the back side towards the front so you know that you're going to be wrapping from the back side towards the front and what i do is i come in here and i grab a hold of this line and i get it in my hand like so and i start from the back side and i wrap it towards the front and I'm pinching everything down in the front with my right hand as I'm doing this with my left hand. And I just want a loop big enough that I can make it around. So we're at one wrap and then two wraps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the key is as you're wrapping it, it's the twist in your hand. You see, you come up and it goes over like so and then you twist your hand and that's the key in getting it all to lay down nice and getting it to cinch down nice is that little twist in your hand and once you learn how to do that you will tie pretty much every snail knot that way but it takes a little getting used to to learn how to get that little twist and it just becomes second nature once you learn it um, and I do that mainly when I'm tying leaders that are four feet long, three feet long. If I'm tying little one foot, well, I don't tie too many one foot leaders, but when I tie 18 inch leaders, I tie it the way that I showed you at first, cause that's way easy. It's way simple, but that's how I snail my hooks. Um, like I said, um, I take and I do 10 wraps. I've done as few as six wraps. I'd like you guys to try it, practice. I think that it would greatly improve your fishing if you snail your own hooks instead of buying snailed hooks from the store. The line isn't the best of quality. Um, you don't get a big selection. It's like you can't take and decide that, oh, I want a 5 aught hook with 20 pound test. It might be a 5 aught hook with 30 pound test. But getting a 7 aught hook with 100 pound test snailed I don't think I've seen that for sale at the stores. Maybe they're the custom tackle shops that are doing it, but I, I haven't seen it. 
you know, if you go to the pro shop, you don't see snailed 100 pound tests to seven aught hooks for sturgeon fishing. Most guys are using crimped leaders. Um, so I would greatly recommend that you learn how to snail your own hooks. I think that it will greatly improve your fishing. It will make fishing a little bit cheaper and you'll get better quality hooks and better quality line, which will in return mean that you will catch more fish. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave any comments. Um, if you snail your hooks a different way, leave a comment in the bottom. I'll check it out. If you have any recommendations on it, um, let me know. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share with all your friends. Thank you.